scares me. <laughs> you can pick him up with one finger. That is where it goes wrong. <laughs> smells really weird. That is a smell I don't think I've ever smelled before. I really wanted to like them. I really did. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm really sorry I didn't upload a video last week. I've just started working full time. So I'm trying to figure out how to navigate filming while I'm like literally out of the house for all of the daylight hours now that it's winter. So I don't know how to film without daylight. That's the thing. Like obviously I can on weekends, but I just um, didn't get my shit together for last week because usually I upload on Saturday morning and I had not been able to film during the week. So that's why there was no video last week. Also, as you can see, my hair has faded a lot. It's basically not even pink anymore. It's kind of just like a rose gold, I don't know. It's faded a lot, but my sister's is still like the same blue. And if you haven't seen our last video, which was turning ourselves into Shark Boy and Lava Girl, definitely go check that out because you'll be able to see me dye my hair pink. <laughs> Alright, well enough of the rambling, let's just get straight into the video. So I went to this store we have in New Zealand called Cracker Jack, and I went there and I bought this huge bag full of British UK sweets and snacks, all that sort of thing. They have like a bunch for some reason, I don't know, you can't really get them anywhere else in New Zealand but for some reason this Cracker Jack clearance store imports a lot of British food. So I'm going to be taste testing them. I've done a few different versions of this video, I've done a, a few American ones now and then I also did a Japanese one with my friend Lily when we went and got stuff from Daiso but this one is the first time I'm doing a British taste test and all of these things I haven't tried. I did try a lot of new things when I went to England and Ireland so if there's something you're not seeing in this video it's probably because I did try it but I was surprised there were still a lot of things that I didn't try while I was over there. So I'm just going to set them up on this table behind me so that you guys can kind of see them while I'm doing it, get an idea of what I have. Alright so here is everything that I bought. There are a lot of things there. Just looking at it now, this is gonna be a long video. I could only find one kind of chips and I know that we do have the like twig, twiz, twiglies or something. The like Marmite flavored crunchy chip things. I know that we do have those at the supermarket in the like international section, but every time I went to try and find them, they're always sold out. So I decided I would just go ahead with what I have because there is obviously a lot here. <laughs> Let's go with munchies. As soon as I saw these, I was immediately like, absolutely yes because anything with like gooey caramel in it is immediately my favorite thing in the world so it says these are milk chocolates with soft caramel and a crisp biscuit center that sounds so like me i'm so excited it even has a little like resealable sticker thing on the back so you can like fold it down and reseal it that is if you don't eat the whole bag though which oh yum i don't know if i can get this to focus this is what they look like. Oh my god. That is so good. First thing I'm noticing is that UK chocolate tastes a lot different to New Zealand chocolate. It's way less creamy. New Zealand chocolate to me is like more creamy and less cocoa-y. This one definitely tastes, you can taste the cocoa in it if that makes sense. I don't know. Yeah, it's different. I prefer New Zealand chocolate, but this is still really good and the caramel and like biscuity thing is that's like all I could ask for in a chocolate. <laughs> I'm gonna try using this sealer. Wait, it's not even sticking! Mission failed! It's just slowly peeling up. Okay, I'm gonna try and not base it off the chocolate itself because I feel like New Zealand chocolate, I'm biased, but I really do like New Zealand chocolate a lot more. But most of what I have here is chocolate, so I can't rate this down based on that. So we're going to give this one a 9 because it is everything I love most about chocolate. It's got caramel, it's got crunch, and it's chocolate, so I really can't fault it. Alright, on to the next one. I think it's probably easier if I just work my way back instead of trying to figure out which one to choose. So we're going to go with Yorkies next. So this came in a 3-pack. They didn't have like the individual ones or anything, so hopefully I like these. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll have to try and pour them up into someone else. It just says chunky milk chocolate. Is this just chocolate? This is what this one looks like. I thought that... I don't even know what I thought. I had always heard the name Yorkie Bar and I thought it was like some kind of, you know, bar with a ton of stuff in it, but... It's just chocolate. I mean, it's nice, but... Wait. That tastes exactly the same as a Hershey bar, but like a super chunky one. Yeah, it has the exact same taste as a Hershey bar. I'm gonna give this one a four out of 10, just because it is just plain chocolate. And if I'm having plain chocolate, I wanna have plain chocolate that 
I love, you know, I don't know. So I'm just gonna give this one a four. <laughs> Next up, we have the Lion Bar. It's a filled wafer with caramel and cereals covered with milk chocolate. That sounds exactly like a picnic. Yeah, it looks exactly like a picnic. Mm. That one's really good. I think it's just the UK version of the picnic. That is what it looks like on the inside. All right, so I'm gonna give this one a seven because picnic bars aren't my favorite. If I'm going to buy a chocolate bar, I'm not gonna buy a picnic, but it's still good. All right, I have heard so much about these. I swear that everyone from England always talks about digestives and it's usually the dark chocolate ones. For anyone who doesn't know what they are, it says they are wheat meal biscuits covered in plain chocolate. So they're kind of like a healthier feeling biscuit. Like you don't have to feel so guilty when you're eating these. That is what they look like. Hmm. Hmm. Those are good. You don't really get the chocolate till the end, but that's kind of nice because I don't know, the biscuit's good too. I actually really like this because I can already imagine how good it would be dipped in a cup of tea because the biscuit itself is not like overpowering in any way and then the dark chocolate is just like the right amount of sweet and bitter to go in a tea. I don't know. I also think it's really good on its own. I actually really do like the chocolate on this one. It doesn't taste the same kind of chocolate as the other things I've tried. It does taste more like what I would call real chocolate instead of like candy chocolate, if that makes sense. I don't really know how to describe the different tiers of chocolate to you, but I don't know. This one's just better. <laughs> I would give these on their own, maybe a seven. And then if dipped in a cup of tea, I'd definitely give them a nine. I'm just gonna go straight in with the caramel ones because I'm so excited about these. I love any kind of caramel anything. Okay, so they look the same, except the chocolate is milk chocolate on this one. Oh. What? These are actually incredible. I freaking am in love with these already. Even imagining these dipped in a cup of tea. Wow. The caramel is quite a thin layer, but it's like just the right amount and the chocolate is so good on it. So freaking good, I definitely recommend these. I wanna give these a 10 because I can definitely see myself eating more of these. I'm gonna eat this whole thing right here. I've been filming for half an hour already and I still have so much to go. This is why it takes me so long to edit. So next up we have the Milka Toffee Cream Bar. So I've actually tried this brand of chocolate before and I really liked it, but I haven't tried this flavor. So I'm super excited to try it because it looks like it's gooey toffee, which is basically caramel. So it looks like this. We got three pieces in a row. Okay, so it looks like caramel with like a creamy center as well. Mm. That is amazing. This is good chocolate. I will definitely be eating this whole block. Yeah, if you live in the UK, don't eat those Yorkie bars or whatever. Eat this chocolate. This is good chocolate. <laughs> All right, finally something savory. So I used to hear so much about these from my British friends growing up when I was in like intermediate. They would always talk about how much they miss them. And I don't think we have anything like them in New Zealand because the closest we have is like cheesels, but they're made of corn and these are made of potato and also cheesels are like cheese flavored. These are just original, whatever that means. So I'm so excited to try these. They're so small. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They smell very plain. They don't smell like they have a flavor. Huh. Okay. They really just taste like potato, which is not a bad thing at all. I love potato. They're way more of a different crunch than I was expecting. Like they're not, mm, but, mm. they have a way different texture to regular potato chips. It's like if you had a potato chip that was like three times the thickness of a regular potato chip. Like it's so dense, if that makes sense. I don't know, I really like them. Or it's kind of like super thick Pringles, I guess. They're really yum. Mm. Well, like if you've ever tried those like potato sticks, the real thin ones, they kind of taste the same. I just want to give these a 10 because I know I could just eat my way through the whole bag. They're just really good. They're not anything spectacular, but they're really like a comfort food, I guess. I really can't fault these, especially because they're so fun. <laughs> you can pick them up with one finger. <laughs> I really feel like us Kiwi kids missed out. These are great. Next up, we have Galaxy Chocolate Chunk Cookies. Ooh. That is a smell I don't think I've ever smelled before. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. 
Anyways, they come in this tray. So they're just chocolate chip cookies. Mmm. Mmm. They're like good at the start and then they have a weird aftertaste. I don't really like those. <laughs> I don't even know why I make these tastiest videos because I'm so bad at explaining <laughs> flavors of things. But I really don't know how to explain the aftertaste or that smell. I think it's kind of like a golden syrupy aftertaste. You know how golden syrup has that like strong kind of flavor? I think maybe it's that. I don't really know. I don't think I like them very much. <laughs> Sorry to all the galaxy lovers out there because I really wanted to like them. I, di I did, <laughs> but it's not your day. It's not your day. Next up, we'll try the galaxy minstrels. Oh, they're huge. What? I wasn't, I wasn't expecting them to be like the size of m &Ms. These are massive. Okay, please be good because I do not want the whole of the UK coming for me. What? Okay. <laughs> so, to begin with, when you first bite into them, I really liked it because it's kind of like an M&M, except the shell is crunchier. And that's something that I wished M&Ms were, is like the shell was a little bit thicker so they could be like crunchier, so you had more of like a contrast between the shell and the chocolate. That's what these get right. But then, <laughs> the flavor becomes weird. I don't know why, it's kind of, I don't want to say it's malty because I do like malt, but I feel like it's in that area. Okay, I'm gonna have to try another one because I've already forgotten. See, they're still good right now. There is where it goes wrong. I can't figure it out. There's just something weird about the end. I really wanted to like them. I really did. Please don't hate me. I'm gonna give both of these a four because if I was desperate for chocolate, oh wait, actually, no, there's, there's nothing that would make me want to eat these cookies really, so they can have a two, and these can have a four, because if I was desperate for chocolate, I would eat them. Next up, we're going to go for the McBites Club Mint. What else did I try that was McBites? I really liked the chocolate on their digestives, and those are McBites, so I'm hoping that the chocolate on these is going to be the same. They're so cute, they literally look like little gum packets and you slide this off. I just love the packaging on this. I think that's the cutest thing ever and then you unwrap it. Oh, that smells so minty straight away. So it's a milk chocolate covered crunchy biscuit with a mint flavored cream. That's what they look like. Mm. Oh yeah, those are good. Those are so good. I love mint and chocolate together. I would definitely say this is more of a biscuit than a chocolate bar because it is predominantly biscuit. It tastes a lot like a mint treat that we have in New Zealand. Please can have a 10. I find chocolate with like biscuit or wafer inside it. It's so easy to just like overeat because if I buy like one of those blocks of Kit Kat, I could just eat my way through that thing in like 10 minutes because it doesn't feel like you're eating chocolate because it's mainly wafer. But it still doesn't mean it's good for you. The same with these because it just feels like you're eating a biscuit. We're down to the last three. Let's go with the dark chocolate covered pretzels. These are also the McBites brand. I hope I'm saying that right. Oh, don't think I am. There's another I in there. McBites? Mc... McVitaeus? McBites? Sorry. <laughs> These are also the McBites brand. <laughs> so the chocolate should be good. Oh, I feel like I just inhaled cocoa. That is strong. That's what they look like. Just like chocolate pretzels. The smell scares me. Mmm. <laughs> I've never had a chocolate covered pretzel. And these are great. You got the salt from the pretzel and they're like chocolate. Yeah. Those are good. I don't think I could eat more than like two or three in one go because the dark chocolate is quite... What's the word I'm looking for? Rich. And it would definitely get too much. But no, I think these are quite nice. I'll give them a seven. Next up, we have the pick and mix. I gotta try all three of these. Oh, this one has a reseal sticker too. Mm, smells good. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna try is this one shaped like a lemon. I think that's a fruit gum. I'm gonna assume that's a fruit gum. Oh, it's already stuck in my tooth. Okay. Mmm. So the flavor of that is so good. It's like so flavorful. Like you can definitely taste that it's blackcurrant. 
It is all stuck in my teeth right now. <laughs> the first bite is where it gets stuck and then you literally can't move it to the other side of your mouth unless you like use your finger. I don't know what's normal. I don't know if chewing in one spot the whole time is normal or if like moving it around your mouth like I do is normal. You guys do. I definitely don't keep it in one place, but it still tastes really good. I recommend. Now we're gonna go for this, which I think is the fruit pastel. This one is a yellow one. Hmm. Mm. That one's good. When you first start eating it, all you can taste is the sugar. And so you're like, what flavor is this? And then you eventually get to the flavor and it was really good. It wasn't too much. And a lot of times lemon flavored candy can be like way too lemony, but this one was just like a nice mellow lemon. I really liked it and it didn't get stuck in my teeth, that one. And then we also have the little mini ones, which I'm guessing are the jelly tots. They look like the fruit pastels except mini. I feel like they're the same as pastels, but just smaller. Okay, so I really like the jelly tots and the fruit pastels. I feel like they're just like the perfect amount of flavor. It's not too overpowering. And also the sugar on the outside is a nice touch. And then also they don't get stuck in your teeth. Whereas these little fruit gums are so hard. They're a hard gummy, if that makes sense. They they take a lot to bite through. I feel like if you ate like three of these, your jaw would be sore. And also they get immediately stuck in your teeth. So they're really hard to eat, but they still taste good. I would give these overall as a packet an eight. We are down to the last item. This one is milk chocolate coated hobnob biscuit balls. These look real good. This one also has a little sealy thing. They should be really good because I love anything with biscuit in it. And this is the McVitie's chocolate again, so should be good. Cute. They look like little Maltesers, just baby ones. Smells really weird. Amazing. Mm. Those would be so good on ice cream. The biscuit bit inside tastes like the biscuit part of digestives. So it kind of just tastes like little digestive bites. I don't know what hobnobs taste like because I haven't tried a hobnob biscuit. I assume it's similar to digestives. The biscuit looks exactly the same as digestive biscuit. I give these a 10 as well. These are really good. Okay, let's round up the favorites. Here we have the winners. I hope you can see them. These, I think, I'm pretty sure I gave them all a 10. If I didn't, I'm upgrading them all to a 10 because these ones are the ones that I would buy again. I don't think there's anything else I'd buy again. <laughs> if you're from the UK, and I just trash talked your favorite snack. I apologize. I don't think any of them are bad actually. Oh, maybe the cookies. Okay, the, the galaxy cookies. They're the only ones that are just not good. The rest of them, they're good. They're just not the best, you know? Make sure to like this video and also leave a comment if you enjoyed it. I really like hearing feedback from you guys and like listening to what you guys recommend, what you have to say, also like your recommendations for videos I should make, all that sort of thing. I love to see it, so leave a comment and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.